The unit that can actually hit 175. Yep. Okay. So with that said, summoning focus tempest trials plus as detailed. We're <laughs> gonna a ninja focus tempest trials plus. Oh, I never saw this day coming. I don't either. Looks Dang. like normal Rucker. Mm -hmm. I mean, not Rucker, Navar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like normal Navar. Just slightly different with some purple on him. That's it. And Hana looks like she's dressed up as a nickel. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, that's true. Actually, that that really looks like a reskin Hannah. It just super looks like Hannah. It doesn't even look very different. Well, going from a Hoshiden design to a Hoshiden design, we'll do that to you. Yep. Okay, with that said, Summoning Focus Tempest Trials Plus. Ninjas, Novices, there's a Summoning Focus event for Tempest Trials Plus bonus allies. And they are... You're going to just go for red. Lin and Levitain. Uh, Levitain is still really good. Lin is... Interesting. There's a resplendent version of her, and her weapon gives her Brash Assault Desperation, but... Which, by the way, is so funny. When she first got Brash Assault Desperation, we were like, what's the point? She's so quick. Nowadays, we're like, she kind of needs it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And then, of course, all those fast sword use no follow-up are like, nope. Yep. And then it just still doesn't work. So, yeah, she's an interesting hero, but doesn't work very well anymore. I feel like she's really good at, like, um, spamming Max icebergs Merge. or something. Or wrap or something like that. She's good at max merge because she's a bit of everything. Like, she's more generalist than your average swordmaster. Yeah. Alright. Interesting. I like. I still like her, but yeah. Lorena, though, three or four star. Doesn't matter. Don't go for her. Yeah. No. Just, you're going to be using her as your bonus unit. Don't even bother summoning her. Mm hmm. Uh, so right away, at least Florina's there because that gives you a guaranteed three to four star bonus hero, especially at the start of the start of the Tempest Trials. Sometimes you don't have that, and you're just slightly ifed, like I, oh, I'm losing a bit of points. But like, yeah, it's not no big deal. But still, it's nice to yeah. have her. Yeah, pretty much. And for anyone who's gotten into Fate Pass since the very start, you guarantee have a Lin too. So technically, there's like two accessible heroes, depending. Depending. That said, uh, we went over the stats and skills. It'll be on a separate video if you guys missed it. But I would say Hannah is going to be really, really good here. So long as you take her life and death off, she's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what seal you'd run on her, though. I'm at A slot. Yeah, that's actually true. Because Fury would still drain her HP. Life and death is always defense res minus 5. And your weapons, defense res minus 4. Oh, boy. Uh... Yeah, maybe... Maybe just remove I... her A slot. <laughs> Cause... Death Blow, I guess? Death Blow would be fine too, yeah. Alright, you got some options, but not great options. Generally speaking, Fury would have been the cheapo option. But cheapo option Fury on Tempest Trials is always a bad idea, I would say. Yeah. Run it when you have her in Arena Salt, though. Okay, but yeah. She was probably going to be a really good bonus hero. Um, we don't know who the boss is yet because it's too early, but... If I had to guess, it's probably Levitain again. Wait, for real? We're gonna fight Levitain again? We fought Levitain in uh, New Year's. I'm oh. gonna guess it's her again. Oh boy. Okay, well, maybe Levitain. We'll see. That said, Tempest Trials Plus, Hannah's attack art actually looks super cool. I like it. I like it, yeah. Man, I also love those masks. By the way, I can't look at those masks and not think of the Ambu from uh, Naruto. <laughs> I don't even remember. I don't even know the real name of these masks anymore. I just know them as Ambu masks. I probably wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah, I I wouldn't know. But um, I actually really like that mask. That was my accessory on Hannah because we got one of those masks from uh, during the summer, and that was my accessory on my plus ten Hannah for the longest time. That's that's nice to see. They actually put it on put it on her as well. Okay, Kitsune Kitsune mask Kabuki. That's are you sure it's Kabuki mask? Okay, uh, we'll see. I thought Kabuki was the theater actor. I think. Yeah, and I'm not sure, not sure how far. Kabuki Wait a second, you're actually Japanese. How dare you not know something Japanese when you're Japanese? I'm sorry, I don't know the culture that well by name. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, Tempest Trials plus Ninja Novices will soon begin. Ninja Novices? I think the only novice there would be... I mean, they're novices at being ninja. Oh, wait, that's true. They're all not actual natural ninjas. But I will be... I'll be frank. I think Nahark... 
Oh, wait, what? I, did I just... I combined their names! I combined Navar and Zahark. <laughs> Nahark? I'm so tired. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, um, I feel like they would uh, be professionals. Learn it real quick. I feel like Lynn and Florina... Well, because Florina's evolved, I don't think there will, there will be a lot of goofing off. I think Hannah's will be a hard worker and figure it out. And I think Levitane will seemingly not know what she's doing. And then suddenly, uh, doesn't matter because she's super badass. It's Levitane. Levitane, yep. Alright, with that said, um, there will be 10 orbs from longing bonuses and... Oh, boy. First off, I don't even think we have enough divine codes to make the second limited time that we have right now. Rip. Wait, what? We can't make two five-star units? To my knowledge, I think we hit 260 on the second five, uh, 560 total. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's depressing. I wanted to get... um. I'm going to get favorite. Halloween Jacob for the merge, but I wanted to get... I got uh, Niles because of the fodder. Yeah, he is better fodder. Okay, well, with that said... Whoa, okay. It's Kestrel Stance 1 and Home ba Home Beast. I was going to say Home Babes because of the Hannah. God damn it, I'm still tired. Okay, Home Beast Sacred Seal. That's crazy. We just got Home Dragons a while ago and Fortified Dragons a while ago. Home Beast is even more significant, I would say. Kestrel Stance, Very few sacred go. coins in this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I guess we'll see in a bit. Uh, but Kestrel Stance is also super good. Extra attack and speed. For heroes that are using, like, defensive spurns or close calls, for example... Steady posture units as Steady well. posture units. Shannon. That's exactly Shannon, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very, very good Kestrel Stance would be. Um, even a hero that's relatively new, like Legend Demetri, would like Kestrel Stance. Fallen Ike. Fallen Ike would like it. A bunch of heroes would like it. Castle Stance is a great seal to have. I, so hmm? I've been waiting for this forever, actually. I've just been, like... Castle Stance in general has been so rare. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, they still haven't released another hero who uses Castle Stance. Well, technically they did, because there's Castle Stance 3, but you know what I mean. There's no base Castle Stance hero outside of Legendary Ryoma. Yeah. No, this is a very solid slap on seal for any offensive unit. I just find it funny that they put it on the player face banner. Yeah, actually, yeah. None Kestrel of the music correctly. <laughs> right, that's also true. Yeah, that's also true. Because, yeah, they're all brave weapons. I, the closest would be Levitain, but her speed is unsalvageable. Speed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but with that said, uh, that seal used to be so awkward. Because we're like, why would you want attack and speed when you're hit? But in a seal slot? Now that makes a lot more sense. And back then there was no spurt or close calls. Yeah, oh. with distant counter tanks being speed tanks now, yeah. it works. It works. But yeah, that's a major seal. It's meta. The meta has shifted in a in a way that uh, features Kestrel Stance way better. So, mm -hmm. with that said, Home Beast is really important because the only way to get Home Beast before was Leanne, and, and... it was demoted on Raphael when oh. he was available. When he was available. Okay, well that's a special. Uh, oh no, I think he had Goat Beasts, didn't he? Actually, he had. Yeah, no, it's it's still Leanne, I think. I could have sworn Home Beast showed up somewhere else, but I don't remember where. All right, but with that um, said, it doesn't really matter because it's available now. This also makes it really easy to, say, de uh, deploy Raisin, who comes with uh, four to five beasts and is Dang. a three to four star. And now you just drop the home beast seal on him, and he's now just an omni buffer for uh, beasts. Great job. Easy easy to do, too. I remember now, Leanne is available in the uh, manual path as the first tier unit, so that's where I got that from. Uh, yeah. Um, Raisin comes with fortify. So you can run home fortified beasts from racing. Yep. And that's why I think it's super significant. That's going to help you so much. And of course, I think people are already talking about Caden. You could run home fortified Caden. Oh, yeah. That would be great, too. So, yeah, there are a bunch of great options, guys. Yeah. Oh, a says, it's a little different from Hannah's usual style, but I think this look suits her well. Uh, it looks exactly like her usual style. <laughs> I was going to say, it's very, very little change, but yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Only 100 sacred coins are needed to promote that seal completely, and that's it. Yep. So if you're saving sacred coins for other seals, and you're just wanting maxis, pretty cheap. Yep. Okay, with well that said, Hannah, a samurai Hoshido who serves as Sakura's retainer. She heard the ninja festival was being held and is attending with pride and high spirits, heroes and fire emblem fates. Okay, I... 
because they mentioned Sakura, I know she's a retainer. I'm actually surprised Sakura doesn't show up more often. I thought Sakura's... Wait a second, how many special heroes? We got uh, two, right? Special Sakura. She had... I know she had her Nyasurka. Nyasukura. And then the Baffro yeah, one, yeah. Hot Spring one. Yeah, there's three. That's Total. it. Yep. Wow. I'm surprised, because technically... Well, there's only two Hannahs, but okay, sure. Because, yeah, I'm surprised. It's, it's, it feels like Sakura should be a more significant character, but... Yeah, <laughs> I just realized, I... Weeba 6 earlier in the day was just like, Oh, I sure hope uh, they, they give Sakura a, a refine and respond to uh, Weeba Aww. 6. I'm just like, what's a Sakura? Aww. And then he says, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I mean, poor Sakura. Her other retainer, Tsubaki, doesn't have an alt, technically. Yeah. And I, I think the worst part is all Sakura versions, I think, are crap, to be honest. So, there you go. Mm, yeah. I mean, the only interesting one is Nakamada Sakura. And, well, who uses Cat Sakura anymore? Nobody. I've seen one person plus 10 in her, but that's about it, so. Yeah. Until she gets a refine, it's safe to say that Sakuras all kind of suck. Yeah. Or at least are outclassed. With that said, Hannah's outclassing a lot of heroes. We've gone over her stats. So again, that'll be in the video, so check it out when it's out. But Hannah outclasses Echidna. Hannah outclasses every free-to-play axer, uh, infantry axer. Mm -hmm. No one stands in the path. Including Legion. In uh, well, at least, at least Legion's, Legion's has weapon completely changes everything. S Sneering Axe is such a unique weapon on Legion that I feel like Hana just can't quite fair up against that mm -hmm. but if we're looking at the raw stat perspective ouch yep and that's the reason why i was mentioning echidna uh ross like heroes like those where they're they're still speed and there's attack on her hannah just has an all beat and that's significant because in respect of what she comes with Ninja Masaka Masakari is super useful and super interesting. Grants B plus 4, flex defense, res minus 4. If unit initiates combat, unit attacks twice. It's aka a brave weapon on initiation, but with no speed penalty. And with a hero with good attack, in fact, even borderline, well, it's not great, but good, good, great, great. What's the middle point between good and great? Gooder. <laughs> with gooder attack. And excellent speed. Well, not excellent. Gooder attack and gooder speed, especially over the free-to-play heroes. And at 176 BST, I I really like I really like her. It's a really good suggestion. We'll, we will see if she has super boons or super banes. In fact, if she please, please Ayas, please stop teasing us. Stop teasing us, please. Give us a good arena unit that it doesn't have any problems with yes. a super boon. Please make super boon, super boon speed, please. That would be so ideal. I I can only wish. Ugh. It's like, yeah. even Nemesis is just a, such a tease because you can argue Nemesis is controversial, but he could have done something. If he had plus defense or plus res, I would have, it would have been perfect. I would have made a plus 10 one. Yeah, I mean, at this point, the problem with Aina is that she's a dragon. So if Hana is actually anti-meta, as opposed to being killed by the meta mm -hmm. with that super boon, that would be perfect. Mm -hmm. And remember guys, uh, she's a green axer. In terms of the axe class, in terms of free to play heroes, the closest comparable is Yogur, uh, in terms of grail heroes. In which case, of course, Hana has her dominated. And because she's better than Echidna and, and Ross essentially, because she has a BSC advantage and more attack and more speed, and she only gives up a little bit of like a little bit of defense or res, I, I believe, and that's it. Overall, like this is legitimately your best free-to-play green hero. So this is a significant hero, and it's not like her kit's bad too. Again, her weapon's fun to play with because it's a brave weapon, which uh, also, as Legion noted, does not score well. So you'll have to actually get a real good weapon on her. Most likely, you'll kill Hinata for a uh, uh, big fan, huge fan, huge fan, bigger fan, bigger fan. <laughs> Gooder fan. You'll kill Hinata for Gooder fan. And then um, it's also really nice that she has Wrath 3, which we'll find out if it's three, uh, 4 stars or 5 stars, but you know, there's I, also Astrum with it, so. Yeah, I expect wholeheartedly for um, Wrath to be the 5 star skill. Yeah, because there's no Life and Death 3. Wait a second, it's on Soth. 
So, <laughs> Hana is the. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me on the other hand if Life and Death is still five star on her. Yeah. Because it's Hana. Actually, that'd be amazing because um, Astrum's five star skill is Wrath. Ah, okay, we'll see. Yeah, if, if she keeps Life and Death five star for whatever reason, she loves that. <laughs> Um, but then Wrath would be four stars, so that means more dead Hanas mm -hmm. because it's cost less costly. Mm -hmm. I will also say this is one of the rare cases where you get a hero that's just like free and technically pre built because Glimmer, Life and Death, Wrath with Ninja Masakari, that is actually a functional kit. It's a very functional, if not extremely self destructive kit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, she's taking minus nine defense and rest. Yeah, that's a little painful, not gonna lie. Yeah, but yeah. Hannah, 100% uh, suggested. This is absolutely one of the... This is exactly the kind of hero I was waiting for all along to plus 10, So, Like, uh, no perf to kind of put them in a weird spot. Great BST, great anti-meta. And yep. it's Hannah. And fun to play and unique in terms of this is... this Like, this entire class of brave weapons are incredibly unique, so... And functional. <laughs> and functional. So, with that like, said... Yeah. Yeah, unique, unique can be bad. Look at the summer weapons from uh, Three Houses. That's true. Yeah, there there could be detriments to it, but these are definitely not. So yeah, Hannah, I have a 10 out of 10 suggestion rating on her. Um, if you need a if you need a green hero who scores well, technically the best scoring green hero is still um, Flame Emperor. But do you really want to use Flame? Wait. It depends. Wait, they I thought Flame Emperor. It potential. If Hannah has a super boon, they score the same. Okay. That's the point I was trying to make. I'm not sure because they, they seem to like really try to avoid to reach 180. Sometimes, Anna got lucky. Um, it, it's very wishy-washy. Like some of the 176s are getting super boons, some of them don't. And then Dimitri's out here 177 while still getting super boons. So I don't know what their trend is with this. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. But for me personally, I, I think I'm I'm leaning towards it's not going to happen. If it does happen, she is absolutely a recommend because then she ties the highest scoring free-to-play uh, unit. Yep, and doesn't have armor restrictions. It yep. Still has no. a pretty decent bulk spread. Still has pretty decent bulk spread, and the armor restriction thing is huge, guys, because as someone who uses plus 10 Flame Emperor, I'm getting really frustrated at these stupid Ledger and Croms that are like mm -hmm. actually killing her. Uh, him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Killing yeah. the Flame Emperor. It's frustrating. As somebody, as somebody who uses the plus 10 Flame Emperor, I'm getting sick and tired of all these legendary croms that still double me, and I can't do anything about them. Yeah, when people were, like, telling me, like, Nims, hey, uh, you know, it actually makes sense to go for, uh, joint drive speed, um, <laughs> Flame you Emperors. I was just like, what the hell are you talking about? And then they told me about croms. I was just like, you're, you're, you're exact. They were not exaggerating. Yeah, no, they're not. You actually <laughs> have to go for basically a, a speed. And you might think like, wait, they only have some water seasons. Well, when your main point tank is Flame Emperor, you don't get to dodge the water seasons. You just uh -huh. fight them. Not to mention that Krom just shows up anyways. He, he kind of goes where he wants. And... Yeah. He actually just goes where... Yeah, you're right. But if you have Hannah, that doesn't happen. See, because Krom, Legend Krom does effectively against damage against armors, Anna, while having lower defense or res, is not an armored hero, so she actually she can... has speed. Huh? And she has speed. <laughs> and she has speed. So even if she gets hit and takes a good amount of damage, she actually should take less damage than Krom, and she will absolutely um, win the fight on the counter attack. Yeah, I think a DC Hana full build would probably still double even some speed Kroms, so. I'll That's be not honest, too bad. I think DC Repel on Hana is going to be legit. Uh huh. Extremely close call. Yeah, the spurn, like all those builds. Just because she has, she has defense and res. It's not excellent, but it's good enough. More importantly, she has a speed, so she's gonna take a marginal amount, uh, like a, a decent amount of damage, and it, it gets marginalized thanks to the damage reduction. So, I mean, if you want to put things into perspective, yes, Hana's slower than the other two five. Pretty much everybody else in the banner. She's still the fastest axe infantry. Period. Yep. Tied with all. Yep, that's how crazy this is. This is why she's. That's why we keep talking her, talking her up. She's really special, really, really special. Yeah, no, she like her class is something that doesn't have a lot of saturation in it, and there's a very specific meta she counters. Yep, that's all you need. Yep. 
The base speed is 40, by the way. Um, so yeah, uh, I am very hyped up, up about this unit. If it weren't for the fact that she was a Tempest Trials unit, my immediate thing would be to say, Builder, yeah. plus tenor. You're gonna not regret it for the meta. Because she is, you gotta kind of weigh your options because it's an extra 500 grails. Mm -hmm. more. Wait a second, did, did Donald Trump just win? <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I just looked I was over. Looking. I just looked over. If he actually captures one more state, I think he wins. Well, nothing has happened. Nothing has while. happened, but like he has a really big lead in most of these battleground states. So, yeah, and the state, unfortunately, anything south is just going to be extremely red. Um, nothing. I don't think anything is getting counted right now because it's two in the morning. Yeah. But Holy like, crap. yeah, no. Even if Biden gets all three of the states he has right now, he still won't have enough to guarantee the win. Because yeah, Pennsylvania, I... Wisconsin, Michigan, North Carolina, and Georgia. That's a lot of I... electoral votes. That's what I was looking at. I was just like, wait a second. It doesn't actually look good, even though it looks... He has 225 to 2. Yeah, no, it's because those five states are basically... The four states are everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, this is about to get interesting. Not that I would uh -huh. know. Also, I'm Canadian, so I don't really. <laughs> it doesn't really yeah, matter you, to me. You, it's not really mattering to you as much as it is to me. Uh huh. But once Texas went down, that's when the safety net just ripped. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Anyways, um, this is all gonna be in the video because I'm gonna forget to edit this out in the morning when I'm editing, and and then some. Yeah. You guys are gonna be like, "Oh, Nims, what are you talking about politics?" But well, like, <laughs> it's, I uh, I just looked over and I was just like, "Wait a second, that does not look good." Um, uh, for Biden. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Anyways, this is interesting. This is a great Tempest Trials. Tomorrow you'll see this video and the result of... Likely the result of the American election. And then you'll laugh at us. But whatever. Uh, please, please, just just be surprising tomorrow. I want to wake up happy. Uh, uh. I... <laughs>